This training covers the Miami-Dade Professional Development Registry data requirements for employees at programs participating in the Children's Trust Thrive by Five Quality Improvement System. It is essential that complete data are provided by all Thrive by Five programs because these data are used to make decisions about continued funding and services. All of the required registry data are submitted through the Children's Forum Portal, which can be accessed at this website link, which will bring you to the home page. Each Thrive by Five program is assigned to a cohort for submitting their data. Each cohort has different requirements and due dates based on their history of registry data submission. Each child care program's contact person received an email from the Children's Forum indicating their cohort assignment, data requirements, and due dates. Registry data requirements and due dates for each cohort can also be found by going to the Portal Help section and clicking on the Miami-Dade QIS link. You will also find tutorial videos and other helpful information in the Portal Help section. This page will be displayed when the Miami-Dade QIS Programs link is clicked. Data requirements, due dates by cohort, and a list of required documents to gather beforehand can be found at the top of the page. At the bottom of the page are details about education document requirements. You can also get information about data requirements and help with the Children's Forum Portal by contacting the Miami Registry team. Our Miami Registry coaches are here to answer questions and help with the data submission, the process through the portal. Please don't hesitate to contact our team by phone or email. The next step in the process is for all required employees to create a personal account. The personal account only needs to be created one time per employee. Employees required to create a personal account and submit data include those listed here. To create a personal account, log into the Children's Forum Portal homepage shown here and click on Create Personal Account. Be aware that directors must create a business account and a personal account. All other required staff will only need to create a personal account. On this page, enter legal first and last name and date of birth. Remember that the calendar button must be used to enter dates throughout the portal. Click next to continue. Complete personal demographics on page two and click next. Enter contact information, agree to terms and click create account. This screen shows that the account has been created and a link has been sent to the email address provided. This email will be sent to the address provided. Click the link in the email. Please remember this link can only be used once and is only good for three days. The link will take you to this page to create a password for your personal account. Enter and confirm the new password and click reset password. Click Login to Personal Account, enter the email address submitted as a username, and enter the newly created password. Then click Login to Continue. Please be aware the personal account username is the person's email address, and the business account username is the Child Care Program's DCF license number. Once logged into the personal account, Use the left toolbar to update personal demographics and contact information, confirm employment on the My Employment tab, and submit DCF transcript and all required education on the My Education tab.
Thrive by Five directors and required staff must submit their DCF transcript for verification annually. This is done on the Overview tab in My Education. First, download, print, and complete the cover sheet. Then scan and save the completed cover sheet and the DCF transcript as one PDF document. Then, using the red Browse button, locate the file on your computer and upload for verification. This process links the person's personal account to the Miami-Dade Registry database. Be sure to do this step before submitting any other education documents under the My Education tab because those documents can only be linked to the right person if the DCF transcript has been submitted and verified. An email will be sent from registry at thechildrensforum.com indicating whether the submission was rejected or accepted. The DCF transcript must be accepted and verified before a person's employment can be confirmed, which will be discussed later in the training. Next, directors and required staff added to the roster need to confirm that they work for the child care program. This step only needs to be done one time for each employee added. Employees will receive an email like the one shown here prompting them to confirm their employment. If they do not already have a portal account, they will need to create one at this time. To confirm employment, directors and staff will log into their personal accounts. Once logged in, they will click on My Employment on the left-hand side and then click Yes, No button to continue. Once all the questions are answered, click Save to confirm employment. Employment is now confirmed. After new employees confirm their employment, it will be displayed in their employment history shown here and also on your current roster found at the bottom of the roster page. Employment is now confirmed. After new employees confirm their employment, it will be displayed in their employment history shown here. Next, directors and staff will submit required education documents. Once submitted the first time, verified, and approved by the Miami Registry Team, education documents do not need to be submitted again unless there have been changes in education such as obtaining a degree, credential, or taking early childhood credit courses. Directors and all required staff must submit their DCF transcript any early childhood credentials they hold, if not already submitted on the DCF transcript, college or university transcripts if held. If no college or university transcript, a high school diploma must be submitted. Please be aware that all foreign degrees and transcripts must be evaluated by an accredited agency. If you have questions, please contact the Miami Registry team. All education documents are submitted through the personal account on My Education tab. After documents have been verified, they will be displayed at the top of the page. Remember that the DCF transcript must also be submitted and verified by the Miami Registry team for any other educational documents to be listed here. If the degree shows at the top of this page under verified degrees, it does not need to be submitted again. Documents awaiting verification are listed at the bottom shown here. Please do not resubmit documents unless they have been rejected. 
If you hold a degree, click Degrees, then click Enter Degree Details to continue. If you do not hold a degree, skip this tab. Enter degree details and upload an unofficial college or university transcript from a regionally accredited institution for the highest degree held in the early childhood or related field and highest degree held outside of the field. Actual diploma documents are also acceptable, but transcripts are preferred. If an early childhood credential is held that has not already been submitted on the DCF transcript, click on the Credentials tab on the left-hand side to submit the credential. Again, any previously verified credentials will be shown at the top of the page and do not need to be resubmitted. If credentials appeared on the verified DCF transcript, they will be shown here. Then click Enter Credential Details. If no early childhood credentials are held, skip the Credentials tab. Complete credential details and provide the documents for early childhood credentials. The Credential Award Certification must include full name, credential name, the awarding agency, award date, and expiration date if relevant. If no degree is held but credit-bearing courses have been taken at a regionally accredited college or university, click on the Credit Classes tab. Then click the Enter Group of Classes button to submit the college transcript. Please ignore the Enter Single Credit Class button as it is not relevant to Miami QIS programs. Any previously verified early childhood courses will appear under the verified list at the top of the page. If a college transcript has been previously submitted and verified, all early childhood courses are listed and no new credit courses have been taken since that time, the transcript does not need to be resubmitted. If you are unsure, it is always best to just resubmit the transcript. Enter the information requested on this screen and upload the transcript. If you have not submitted a college transcript showing a degree or at least nine credit courses, submit your high school diploma by clicking on the High School Diploma tab. If you have submitted a college or university transcript with at least nine credit courses, skip this tab. If the High School Diploma is listed under the Verified list at the top of the page, it does not need to be resubmitted. Enter High School Information, Upload Diploma, and Save Information. Again, please don't hesitate to contact the Miami Registry team if you have any questions or need support in the data submission process. Thank you for your time.